Multivitamins and minerals were originally designed for people whose diets didn't meet all their nutritional needs. Multis are convenient. They're nutrient combinations usually taken at least once per day. And while it's generally agreed that a healthy diet is the best foundation for health, everyday life makes that goal challenging for most people. So, some people supplement in hopes of preventing disease-causing deficiencies and providing higher nutrient amounts than they can even get through their diet alone, which may help prevent or manage certain diseases. Official Recommended Dietary Allowances, or RDAs, were developed by a government-appointed panel in the 1940s to broadly cover healthy people of any age or gender. Used to design mass food programs such as the Armed Forces and Food Relief and Ration programs, RDAs were the basis for the Reference Daily Intake, or RDI values, which the U.S. Food and Drug Administration uses to create the daily value packaging labels. Many multivitamins contain at least 100% of RDA recommendations, but often more. And decades of research on human nutrition have led many researchers and healthcare professionals to conclude that a one-size-fits-all approach does not address the increased need for certain nutrients by certain groups, such as calcium for children, vitamin C for smokers, or vitamin D for seniors. Abundant research still suggests therapeutic benefits to supplementing with specific ingredients and nutrients, even when eating a healthful diet. It's key to optimal health. These levels, as opposed to RDA, are called ODA, or Optimal Daily Allowances. Maltese are available as a powder inside a hard shell pull-apart capsule, as a liquid inside a soft gel gelatin capsule, or hard-pressed as tablets that may be chewed or swallowed. Common products on the market include low-potency, one-a-day multiples, often containing 100% of the vitamins and minerals many people require at RDA high-potency multiples, which may provide higher amounts of desired nutrients, sometimes designed to support particular health goals, such as heart health, and time-released, which theoretically release vitamins and minerals slowly into the body over a period of time, and vegetarian, where the capsule isn't made from animal gelatin. Most authorities suggest the powdered capsules are the best, since they're usually the best absorbed and the least oxidized. The best time to take most supplements is with meals, with food in your stomach. To avoid a stomach upset, they sometimes cause this and to help the body better absorb the nutrients, but more importantly, to be able to absorb and properly absorb the fat-soluble vitamins A, E, D, and K. And remember that nothing beats a nutrient-rich whole foods diet as a foundation for good nutrition. Quality natural health products designed as multivitamin mineral supplements may help support that goal.